Hello? Hi, so I have a math question. All right. Oh, great. What's your question? A three by four rectangle is inscribed in a circle. What would the circumference of the circle be? Oh, I can take oh. that one. A geometry okay. question. I'm going to um, actually just go ahead and sketch one. Are you watching right now? Yes. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and try to draw that. So uh, what we should know is a, an inscribed, a rectangle inscribed in a circle um, is actually going to be, let's see how this turns out, uh, something like this, right? Where all four corners of our rectangle touch the outside of the circle. So when you said the measurements of the rectangle are three feet by four feet? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and label that. Now, and you're looking for the circumference of this actual circle, right? Yeah. So do you remember the equation for circumference of a circle? Not sure. Really. Okay. So that is actually the circumference is pi times d. And I'm going to kind of go off track here for a second. Do you know what pi means or what it represents? It's an infinite number. It is, and I think that's mostly what everybody knows about pi. But pi, do you want to you know what the what it represents? It's, it's a ratio. Mm -hmm. It's a ratio, right? So pi is actually, um, because everybody always forgets these equations, it's actually a ratio of the circumference, circumference to the, the diameter. diameter. Right? Yeah. Right. Which, you know, if you do this calculation, if you punch in your calculator, you get 3.1415. And like you said, it goes infinitely. So the interesting thing about this, it doesn't matter how big or how small the circle is. You can talk about, you know, a giant circle, you can talk about the smallest circle you can imagine, and this ratio is true. So when we talk about circumference, uh, if you actually solve this for circumference, um, and I'm doing this kind of quickly, that's how you get the circumference is pi times d. So when we're looking at this problem, we actually need to know the circumference, or sorry, the diameter of this circle. But right now, all we know about is um, is the measurements, the dimensions of this inscribed rectangle. Well, the other thing that you should know about this is that when we have an inscribed, a rectangle inscribed, the diameter or the, the diagonals of this go straight through the center of the circle, right? So kind of, and I'm gonna erase one of these to make it a little simpler, but we have the center right here, right? So what are all the angles of a rectangle? Like, what's the measurement of all the angles? You still there? Oh, what? So a rectangle has, like, all the corners. What are the angles formed? Do you know what the measurement is? Um, go no. Okay, that's all right. So it's a 90-degree angle. So we have, basically, what we have here is two right triangles. And we need to know this diameter um, across the circle. So when we have a right triangle, if I know two of the sides, we can use our a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And Pythagorean then theorem. Pythagorean theorem and solve for that diagonal, which is what we really need. So in this case, we'll say 3 squared plus 4 squared equals c squared. And then we simplify and we just solve for c. So we get 9 plus 16 equals c squared. And we just continue solving and you end up with c equals 5. Is that making sense? Yeah. OK. So now you know this entire diameter from here all the way over here is 5. We know the circumference is pi times the diameter. So the circumference of this circle is going to be 5 pi. Or if you did it in your calculator, I don't know, it's going to be approximately 15.70 something. Does that make sense? Yeah. All right. Thank so you so that much. Helped. Thanks for calling. I like that. Subscribe. Come on, push the button. You know yeah, you want, want to. to. <laughs> Do it.